Hey everyone, it's Riley. So today I'm going to be drawing hamsters in hoodies. And basically, I love hoodies so much. I could wear a hoodie 24 seven. That's literally how much I love them. If you've watched my past videos, you'll notice, judging by my sleeves, that I am wearing a hoodie. If what I'm wearing looks like this, this, or this, it's a hoodie. Um, I just love hoodies so much. I don't even know why. And I also love hamsters and drawing. So today I decided that I'd combine all three and create some little stickers of hamsters in hoodies. So I decided to make these stickers just because the idea popped into my head one day. I've been wanting to make some like some of my own stickers for a while. I've just never got around to it and I wanted to try out a very simple art style. I'm always telling myself, I'm like, I am not going to make this elaborate. I'm going to keep it flat and simple. I'm not going to shade it in. I'm not going to blend any of the colors or add too many details. But then I end up adding too many details. So today I'm just keeping it really simple. Um, and I didn't shade anything. I just kept it really simple colors and everything. Which I actually really like how it turned out. Right here I'm drawing a hamster that is crying while eating a bowl of ramen. Sort of like he had a really bad day and just sat down with a nice hot bowl of noodles. I don't even like ramen, but I enjoy drawing it. Um, here is a hamster drinking a cup of coffee or tea, preferably tea because I like tea better. Here is a hamster that I guess fell asleep on the couch or his bed or something like that. I've got two pillows behind him and he fell asleep after eating a bag of potato chips or whatever those snacks are in his hand. I called them hamo snacks, I don't know, I was thinking they could be something like hamster shaped potato crisps or something, I don't even know. But hamsters basically eat and sleep a lot so I combined that into this drawing. And here is the last hamster I drew, which is just a hamster in his hoodie um, eating some sushi because I love sushi so much. So you will notice throughout the course of this video that so much color adjustment went on with the hoodie color and the hamster fur color, as well as the hamster fur pattern. I was having such a hard time coming up with colors that wouldn't clash too much with, the, with each other, but also wouldn't blend in too much with each other. And it took so long, I'd colored things in over and over and over again, trying to find a good color that would look well with each other. Um, I'm really happy with the end result, but it took a long time to get there. Finally, I decided on a fur pattern for this hamster, and that is with the black on the sides of the face and a white stripe down the middle. And for a while, I wasn't too sure if this was an actual fur color variation that Syrian hamsters could have, as I'd never seen it before, until I saw this photo, and I was really glad that I found it, because this is a really cool fur color variation. For the hamster in the blue hoodie here, I found this reference photo off Google, and honestly, this is the coolest and most unique hamster fur pattern I've ever seen, so I incorporated it into the drawing. For the longest time, I was adjusting this hamster's fur color until I finally decided on something that closely resembles my hamster Crookshanks. I was trying not to go with something that resembled a hamster that I had had, but I just couldn't think of anything else, and I actually really like how it turned out anyways. I 
I ended up tweaking the hamster with the Sushi's uh, fur color just a little bit. I felt like it needed a little something extra, so I just went ahead and changed it up a little bit. I ended up adding some blush on the hamster's cheeks. I tried adding some whiskers, but they just did not look good um, and kind of made the hamsters look like mice, which I was not trying to go for. So I ended up giving them some blush just to make them look a little bit happier. Here is the final result of the drawing. I think these are going to make some pretty adorable stickers once I print them all out. I'm actually really happy with the final result and way more happy than I thought I was going to be seeing as these are super simple. Um, but you know, I'll look back on this drawing in the future and despise my artwork, but I guess that's just how it goes. I just went ahead and printed out these drawings and it's definitely a lot cooler seeing your art in a physical form rather than just on a screen. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with these stickers just yet, but I'm sure I'll find a use for them because they're super cute. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and thank you so much for watching.